amazing people how are you doing my name is love he's and you're welcome back to my channel if this is your first time you will highly welcome and please make sure you subscribe and tap on the notification bell to get notified each time we put up a video you can also check out my other channel blocky signatures for lovely diys and blocky's kitchen now let's quickly go over the sketch looking at what we have here this is a top that has a yoke with the front and the back the front yoke goes straight into the waist region and the aim is higher than your normal hip level also you have your normal busty around that for the sleeve it is a bishop sleeve which i have made a tutorial on how to nape with curve then looking at the back the back yoke is lower too and you can decide to have a zipper button however you want that so what do we need to draft this lovely top all you need is your daisy bodies pattern so this is for the front this is for the back i have a video on how to make this so if you don't know how to make this i'm going to put the link in the description box below then your daisy sleeve so these are what are required so now we are going to start with the front panel okay so i'm going to be using a green marker just to make it different so the first thing i'm going to do now is to lower the neckline and make it wider so for my normal basic body i came down by two and three quarter inches so i'm just going to make it four inches or three and a half depending on what i want okay let me just make it four inches so two and three quarter will be placed here and four inches here so we're going to go lower and for the back also i made use of uh, for the wideness was two and three quarter so i'm now going to make it three and a half so place the two and three quarter here and then three and a half so now we have lowered the neckline now that we've lowered the neckline, the next thing we are going to do is to insert the under, ball, under the bust measurement. This is optional, but if you want the top to be so fitted on you and beautiful, it is advisable you do that. How do you take that measurement? It is just starting from the nape of your neck, passing through your bust point as you're learning your, in how to take measurements, then to where your bra stops that is the underwire under your boss and for this measurement it is 13 inches so all i have to do now is to place the 13 inches here it's 13 inches and i'm just going to make a straight line and use my pattern master to get a straight you might not even get a straight line you could just note the point here just to make it easier let me just mark a small line so that you'll be able to understand what i'm saying doing that's good so now this is under the bust yeah because we are going to do some things there later now for the yoke, we need to decide where you want it to start. That is the busted top, where you want it to start. And for that, I'm just going to lower this. Remember, I lower this by four inches now. So I'm just going to make it like six and a half. Six and a half here. Then I'm going to come in by one and a half. Between one inch to one and a half is okay. Depending on how exposed and wide you want it to be. So I haven't done that now. You rule a line straight into the waist because from here we have the yoke straight into the waist or you could make it higher depending on your choice so now this is the new waistline Good. 
And then now I'll make a curve straight into the ham hole we join just as we have here. make a little curve here just to blend it up so that's good so now we have the yoke this is the yoke and this is the main bustier then some fittings we need to do here is that on this part of first let's finish the lower part remember I told you from the diagram that the hem ends above the hip so now what i'm going to do now is to measure three inches from the waist area three inches and then i can come here and measure three inches so here i have about three and a half because this is the new waist measurement and then we can curve it out a little bit straight so this is what we have so this is the boss here and that is the yoke so now let us do the fittings so on the hopper part here because you want to see to have a hugging fitting because if you just leave it at that taking off those that is going to be gape that is is going to be loose at the upper region and you don't want that so you take between quarter to half an inch depending on how busty you have so here you could just take quarter of an inch or half an inch for someone that is busty you could just take half if you're not too busty you could just take quarter of an inch Have to connect the bust point this contouring is very important for fitted outfits so that is what i have now then remember i told you to insert the under bust measurement at this under bust area too you can just go in by quarter of an inch on both sides or even half an inch depending on how busty you have as i have said here i'll use Hamhole curve just to give you that lovely shape. Let me see what I have, and from there, I'm just going to make a straight line to the waist region. are done so we still maintain these that so right now we can cut it all out to make that area curvy so this is what we have the 
the next thing is to cut this open too. And then for the yolk, we just have to cover up the that because we don't need the that here, so we have to cover it up. So let me quickly cut off the neckline. Closing up the yolk, this is what we have. Can you see that was pretty easy? And then assembling it all, this is what you have. Can you see that was nice? By the time you sew it up, it closes up and just match it very nicely. see that so since we are done with the front panel right now we we'll go to the back panel and we have to start working on it the first thing we are going to do now is to lower the neckline just as we did remember we now made use of the wideness to be three and a half so since I took two and three quarter for the initial one I'm just going to place the two and three quarter here And three quarter is here, then mark the three and a half. I'm still going to maintain the one inch. And this is what I have, so that's going to be trimmed off. Then for the yoke, I'm just going to make it as low as possible. You could just, you know place it anywhere depending on your preference so i think i could just do like 10 inches or 11 depending on your preference and i'm going to connect from the ham hole straight here So we are done with that. So the next thing I'm going to do again is to move the hem higher. We did three inches. So to confirm that, I'm just going to take the side panel for the front and then cross check. So as you can see, it matches so nicely. And look at the ham hole the boss here comes from the front straight into the back which is wonderful so after doing that we can now connect this two so i could just i can decide to make this straight or a little bit curve depending on my preference so i could just make this three and a half two Three inches. Okay. So 
That's the back. You can make it straight. So this is what I have for the back. Then I can cut it all out. Then another thing you can do for fitting, if you want that snatch waist, you can just tighten it up at the back. But please, this is totally optional. So how you have to do, if you want to tighten it, depending on how busty you have, you could just take between quarter of an inch to half an inch inward here. And connect from about one third of your ham side depth straight down there. see then I'm going to bring it down out here all those fittings are necessary because it's a busty top with yoke and you want it to be fitted as much as possible Even to make it snatch, you could still take quarter inch on both sides of the upper part of the dart, but it depends on your preference. So this is what the back looks like. all the patterns this is what it looks like if you can see that so it's very very easy so the back of the yoke and also the front so all you have to do is to add your seam allowance to the neckline armhole region and don't forget the zipper or button allowance so it's as easy as that so let's quickly get over done with the sleeve this is what the basic bodies look like all i'm going to do now is to determine the curve i want the curve to be two inches but for the sleeve you still want to have some excess fabric to for to make the gathering beautiful so instead of it, removing the exact measurement of the curve of two inches i'll just remove one inch from the pattern have to slit this open needle make sure you leave just a little because we're gonna open that up as you can see so to make that easy I'm just gonna place this side so you can open it as much as you want but i think i should just do there about eight inches so eight inches
smells good. Good. This is what the sleeve looks like. For the cuff, I told you I want it to be two inches in height, which is one I have here. And the length, just take the measurement of your wrist or the measurement before you slit the basic sleeve pattern, which is nine and a half for the measurement I'm working with, which is what I have here. Nine and a half by two inches. Then the last thing we need to do is to insert the overlap for the button hole and the button. So that is just half an inch. So all you have to do next is half an inch, quarter inch downward, quarter inch downward, that will be where the bottom is going to be. And also here, that will be the bottom hole. So this is what the curve looks like. And let's do that. So if my tutorial on how to make this has been helpful, please give me a giant thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share the link with your family and friends. You can check out my other channel, Blokis Signatures and Blokis Kitchen. Here, yeah, I just want to show you some things. Yeah, everything matches so well. So check out my other channel, Blokis Signatures and Blokis Kitchen. Then you can follow me on Instagram, Blokis Signatures, and on Facebook, Sewing Innovations. Yeah, so you can share your wonderful pattern there. Just, let me just do this. Just want you to have an idea of what I'm doing. Can you see that it's just so nice and the bust is prominent so once you have the yolk to eat everything just comes out nice so i have to go right now bye guys